Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the new fragrance releases for 2020 and um, yes, what's new, what's coming, what will be released this year. And uh, voila, let's see that together. So I selected only the fragrances that excited me the most and uh, I hope it will be the same for you. <laughs> so let's start. Okay, so let's start with Dior. Um, I think you heard that there is a new fragrance from Dior uh, which just came out from the private collection. So I heard about this fragrance like in February, the, the sales associate talked to me about this fragrance and asked me to come back like the last, the last week of uh, March to get a sample. So I was really excited to get a sample, to be able to review that and then yes, the coronavirus came and then okay now we are all stuck at home so I was not able to to try it and uh, I'm really disappointed so I, what I heard is just that this fragrance was going to have wood and rose and then it's not rose but rosewood so the name of the fragrance is Dior Oud Rosewood it was already released uh, in April and uh, it was created by François de Machy the top notes are quince coin in French I don't know how you pronounce that quince Raspberry, uh, middle notes, sandalwood, animal notes, animal notes, what can, okay, whatever. Agar wood, uh, palisander rosewood, palisander, that's funny because for me it's, okay, it's the wood that you use for making guitars, okay. And uh, yes, I was really excited to test this fragrance, so, okay, I think when everything will be over, I will try this one and try to review it. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, after that, the next brand that excites me the most is Guerlain. And apparently Guerlain is going to have a really busy year this year. And many fragrances are to come. So the first one for me that I, <laughs> I'm rating the most is uh, Patchouli Ardent. This is uh, from the, the um, uh, Les Absolus d'Orient collection. And um, it should be released in May. So let's see. By the way, if you want to hear um, a little bit more about this fragrance, I think that uh, Père Solaise already reviewed it. So let's check his channel if you want to get more details about this fragrance. So the top notes are pink pepper, black pepper and fig. Middle notes patchouli, Turkish rose and cedar. Base notes leather and musk. So yes, I'm quite excited to, to try that. Leather, patchouli, rose, fig. I think that's quite interesting. Okay. Okay, I want to I want to try that. The next one is uh, from Guerlain is Leur Blanche. So it means white hour in, in French. And uh, in English. Yes, white hour in English. <laughs> uh, I don't know when it will be released, but I think really soon. And uh, maybe it's already released. I don't know, but I think soon. It was created by Delphine Jelk and uh, Thierry Vasseur. And the top notes are aquatic notes, uh, white flowers, middle notes, white flowers, milk, base notes, iris, white musk, and white amber. And the reason I wanted to try it is because it has iris. So usually the girl with iris, I really love this fragrance. So I'm, I want to try it. Then next one, we have two new aqua Ligoyas that are coming. So I'm quite excited for that also. But I'm also a bit sad because it means that they are going to replace two, two other Aqua Allegoria. And apparently it's, uh, they are going to replace Tia Zura and Limon Verge. So if you like these two fragrances, I encourage you to, to buy them now because apparently they're going to be discontinued and replaced by these two new Aqua Allegoria soon. So really, I don't know. I think maybe for spring, summer, because this is the kind of fragrance that you wear for summer, especially. So... I think this summer they're going to be released at last. And um, the first one is uh, Granada Salvia. And the notes are, I just have two notes for the moment, sage and incense. So this is what I'm, I'm quite excited about this one because I love sage. And um, I think it can, be, it can be nice. And the next one uh, is orange, orange, Soleia. And uh, it's, the notes are orange, petit grain, green notes, and musk. So I'm quite excited also because it contains citrus and green notes, and this is definitely my kind, so I want to try that. The next Guerlain fragrance that I want to try 
is uh, Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Extreme. I think it's already released, but I haven't tried it yet for sure. You know why. And um, the top notes are bergamot, almond, pink pepper. The middle notes are heliotrop, cinnamon, plum. And the base notes, leather, tobacco, patchouli, and cedar. The reason I want to try it is because I love the whole range. I love all of them and have my preferences, of course, but for the moment, it was perfect. So I want to, I want to try this one. I'm quite excited about it. Uh, just some other information about Guerlain I can give you. Apparently, this summer reformulation is coming of a very old classic. <sighs> this, I'm, all, I'm always sad when I hear that. Uh, they have really good fragrances and uh, I don't know which one. But I heard that the original formula is going to be changed, of course, but the original bottle also is going to be changed. And um, I know that they already changed all their old uh, fragrance, like uh, L'Instant, uh, Insolence, uh, Samsara. All these fragrances already changed their bottle. So for sure, I think that they won't be concerned by this, but then I'm wondering about the, the main fragrances, maybe La Bille Rouge, Héritage. I don't know. I'm wondering if this is one of these fragrances because I think the bottle was not changed for a while and maybe they want to put again this B bottle, which is really nice, but I don't know for men, maybe. Maybe they will create a new bottle for men, but then this fragrance will be reformulated. So uh, I don't know. Let's see. Wait and see. And this autumn, a uh, new exclusive fragrance is coming. So uh, I hope that this is a L'Art et la Matière, which is coming. And I heard this will um, contain a coffee note. So this is funny because when I heard uh, in February that this uh, new fragrance was coming, I heard it was, I heard something about L'Art et la Matière, I think. And I heard something about Iris. So I think I mixed the information and uh, the iris fragrance that was coming was Leur Blanche. And uh, for sure, I think that there is a La et La Matière which is coming. So maybe this is this one, this uh, uh, new fragrance, exclusive fragrance with the coffee note. I hope it is. So let's see. <laughs> then let's jump to Chanel. So I heard many things about Chanel, that they are going to relaunch new fragrances in 2020. So a brand new fragrance should be launched. I heard something about a fragrance named Leo. I don't know if this is, uh, if this is it, if this is a uh, real information. So I don't know, let's see. But apparently it would be a unisex fragrance, completely new. So I'm quite excited about that. I hope this is a real information. And the next one for sure, this one is coming. This is the new Chanel uh, Les Eaux. So, you know, this collection with the Paris Deauville, Paris Riviera, uh, Paris Biarritz, and uh, what's this, old, this other one? Paris Venise. And apparently it would be uh, Paris Edinburgh. Ed Edinburgh, Edinburgh. I don't know how to pronounce this city. Edinburgh in French. And um, this one will be unisex, of course. I have no information about the notes, but I think I read something about the nose. I think it would contain citrus, of course, but after that, I don't know. And I couldn't find the information anymore. But for sure, this one will be coming this year. And uh, another information also, I'm not really sure about that, but a new Coco Mademoiselle should be coming and uh, like Coco Mademoiselle Extreme. extreme. And uh, this one should come at the end of the year, like October maybe. And uh, yeah, the target is for women. And the notes, I really don't know, but I, I don't know what can, they can add for this one. The, the, I really prefer the, the intense version that they released, so I hope that this one will be even better than the intense version. So the source for this information is uh, Super Dacab, Dacab. I don't know if you know this channel, I hope you do. Because this is a really good channel, the guy is a fond of Chanel and it's a good source of information. Uh, the next fragrance I'm quite excited about is um, a fragrance by Maison Lancôme, Peut-être, maybe in English. So this one uh, is a reformulation of a 2008 uh, version. It was created by Nat uh, Nathalie Lorson, sorry. The target is for women. Okay. Um, the notes are Rose, Damascena, Benzone and White Musk. And previously in the previous version, it it had iris and amber. Um, for sure, I want to try this one. The bottle is gorgeous. I don't know if I have pictures. Maybe I can add pictures of it here. 
And I'm a bit disappointed because uh, before in the previous version it got Iris and they removed that and uh, I love Iris so... Okay, but I want to try it. I don't know the previous version, I never tried it, but I want to try this one. Next brand, let's jump to Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent is launching two new fragrances in their private line, the Le Vestiaire. And uh, the first one is Kaplin and the second one is Jumpsuit. So I think they will be released quite soon because I saw people selling them already on the Vinted. So usually these are the people who receive them for free and then they don't want the fragrance and whatever. So I think it's coming soon. Uh, so Kaplin has notes of lease and vanilla. I didn't have more information about this one, but why not? I'd like to, to try it. The next one is Jumpsuit and it was created by Carlos Benheim. It's unisex, it got top notes of bergamot, peach, petit grain, uh, middle notes of magnolia, jasmine, peony, base notes of sandalwood and white musk. So, okay, quite floral, um, quite citrusy in the opening, yes. Why not? I want to try it too, so, uh, yes, let's see. Uh, the next brand is Byredo. So Byredo is also coming with a new fragrance, which will be called Lille Fleur. It should be released in June and um, I had already heard some feedback about this fragrance which were not that good but still uh, I like to make my own opinion so I will try it and see if I like it or not. Because the top notes are cassis, tangerine, saffron, cassis, I like this note so okay. Middle notes damask rose, oil, leather, base notes light woods, ambergris and vanilla. So when I read the notes this is definitely something right in my alley so still I want to try it. Let's see. And Elegance also is coming with a new fragrance, the favorite. So I saw this one also was on for sale on uh, Vinted and I hesitated and didn't buy it because... Okay, uh, because I'm quite excited about these new fragrances but still it's hard for me to blind buy a fragrance because they are quite expensive and uh, you never know, even reading the notes sometimes you can have good or bad surprise, so whatever. This fragrance was, uh, is going to be released in June and has top notes of freesia, violet, mandarin orange, middle notes of mimosa, iris, jasmine sandback, base notes of sandalwood, musk and ambroxan. So I want to try it for sure. So far I loved all the Pen Halligans uh, fragrance that I tried and um, yes I hope it will be the same for this one. Okay, now let's jump to the Jo Malone. So every year Jo Malone releases a lot of fragrance. I know that they already release, released uh, three, three fragrances uh, based on um, lavender. I didn't try them uh, because yeah, I couldn't go out, of course. And uh, I don't know. I, was not, I love lavender, but uh, I don't know. I want to try them. I will try them, uh, I will see. Uh, so there are also new, uh, other new fragrances coming from uh, by Jo Malone, and uh, these ones are Jo Malone Blossom Colon. So they already came with um, some fragrances from this range, I think, and uh, so they come this year with four fragrances for this Blossom Colon uh, edition. Uh, two are. Um, uh, re-edition, reformulation, I don't know, so relaunch of all the um, old Jo Malone fragrances and two other are new. So the new ones are uh, Yuja, Yuja, I don't know how you pronounce that, Yuja, so it contains notes of yuzu, sage, pine and cedar. So definitely this is the one which is in my radar because I love yuzu, I love sage, I love woody notes, so I hope I will like this one. And the next one is Water Lily and it has notes of Neroli, Water Lily, a Jasmine Sandback and White Musk. Okay, why not? Quite floral, but why not? Uh, and the next ones are uh, Silk Blossom, which was released in 2014 and last year also. So I already bought it last year, so for sure I won't buy it this year. So it has notes of white pepper, uh, Apricot, silk tree, blossom, moss, and 
Heliotrope? Heliotrope. I, I never know how to pronounce these words. Uh, and the next one is Osmentus. So it has notes of petit, petit grain, peach, Osmentus, orange blossom, and cashmere wood. And okay, why not? I like Osmentus, so I want to try them all. Okay, let's jump now to Armani Privé. So they are coming also with the new fragrances, four new fragrances in Les Eaux collection. So they already released um, ah, Rose d'Alexandrie, I, I believe. Uh, what are the other ones? P1 Suzu, uh, the Fig one, also Fig Deden maybe? And it was another one, so I don't remember the name. Okay, whatever. Uh, so they are coming with four new fragrances, and uh, the release the release is soon, I believe, because it was also already uh, um, reviewed by Persolez. So if you want to know more about these four fragrances, check his channel. So the first one is Te Yulong, released by Julie Massé. Uh, the top notes are cardamom, mandarin orange, petit grain, middle notes jasmine, green tea, orange blossom, black tea, Base notes, ambrette, iris, vetiver. So, of course, this one, when I read the notes, I want to try it. I love tea fragrance and um, jasmine, tea, iris. Okay, I want to try that, definitely. Uh, the next one is Gardenia Antigua. It was created by Dora Bagrish. The top notes are mandarin orange, neroli, pink pepper. The middle notes are gardenia, jasmine, ylang ylang. Base notes, patchouli, ambergris, white musk. Okay, why not also quite floral, really floral, of course, gardenia, I love gardenia fragrances. Uh, yes, of course, I want to try them all. Uh, Rose Milano, so this one was created by Daphne Buget and uh, Marie Salamagne. And the top notes for this one is lim uh, lemon, bergamot, pear, middle notes, rose and jasmine, base notes, patchouli and moss. Okay, it looks like... Um, another rose patchouli fragrance uh, reading the notes honestly it looks quite boring but you never know it depends also of the quality of the ingredients so it can change anything maybe i don't know maybe i will love it i hope i will love it uh, and the last one is jasmine kusamono uh, it was created by dominique ropion and the uh, top notes are nashi pear Nashi pear. Who knows what is nashi pear? Okay, maybe Japanese pear. Uh, pink, pink pepper, middle notes of uh, lily, lily of the valley, uh, jasmine sunback and orange blossom, and the base notes are cedar and sandalwood. So, yes, yeah, created by Dominique Ropion. Okay, and uh, jasmine, orange blossom, woody notes. Okay, I want to try it also. And I'm quite intrigued by this Nashi pear. I don't know what it is. I will check on the net, on the net but I really don't know. So, voila, these are the releases that I'm quite excited about. Many releases are coming in 2020 and I'm really happy about that. Um, yes, maybe my bank, bank account won't be that happy about that, but <laughs> I'm really excited about these uh, launches. So... I love to try new fragrances and especially the ones that excite me the most in this list are the, the Guerlain ones because I really do love Guerlain um, and also I think the, the Dior one because I love the, the private collection so I want to try this one for sure and the Lancome one because this Maison Lancome private collection I really like it, I really like it and um, I want to try them all so voila, I hope you like this uh, video you like to get this uh, information maybe you were already aware of this fragrance coming uh, tell me what do you think about them are there fragrance that you are quite excited about in this list and um, tell me i'm quite curious about to know and um, i hope to see you soon in a new video bye